Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 30th part in our math skills series. And what we have going on here is that we have to determine the area of the yellow region shown inside of this circle here. And we're given some information here. So we are told that DEFG is a square here. The overall circle has a center of H and has a diameter of 15 inches, which is B to C. And we are also told that AB and then AC of this outer triangle that forms here are an equal length. So AB and AC are equal in length. And it is to note that point A, point B, and point C are touching the outside of the circle, and points D, E, um, are touching the uh, extents of our triangle here. And so same thing with FG aligns with BC. All right, so what we really need to determine here is that we need to determine the dimensions of this little square inside here because we already have the diameter for the circle <clears throat> and we would all already have the radius, which would be the height of our triangle <clears throat> from A down to H. So what we really have to get is our dimensions of our square here, which we just have to target one side. Since it is a square, all sides are equal. So since AB and AC are an equal length, that means that A aligns directly vertical with the center of our circle at point H right here. And that would be our height of our triangle, which as I said earlier, would be 7.5 inches. So since DEFG is a square, and since DE, FG, and DF, and EG are all parallel, well, those two sets are parallel, and they're all in equal lengths here, what we have forming here is that we're going to have similar triangles forming here. So these two angles right here, if we just call this A, this would also be angle A up here as well. This angle down here would be B, thus this angle up here would be B as well, since DE is parallel to this overall BC. So since this is happening, what we're going to have is we're going to have similar triangles. So our triangle of ADE will be similar, which I can't remember. I think that's the approximation symbol or something like that. It's similar to the overall triangle of ABC. So since these two are going to be similar, what we can do is that we can set up a ratio that relates the height of the square with the overall triangles here. So let's put in a point right here for our smaller triangle, because we have the larger triangle has a height of AH, our smaller triangle of ADE, let's say it has a height from A down to point J. So since these are similar triangles over here, we would have AH over BC, which is our overall height over our base for our larger triangle. That ratio has to be the same as the height of our smaller triangle, AJ, over its base, which is D to E, which D to E is our um, square length that we're looking for. So AH, well, AH, we can get, that is just going to be 7.5 inches because A aligns perfectly vertical with point H, which is the center. A is along the edge of the circle, so that is the radius. And then, of course, BC is just going to be our diameter of 15 inches. DE is what we're looking for. So what in the heck is AJ? Well, AJ is just going to be AH subtracting off JH. So it's going to be this overall height subtracting off the height of the square. Well, what is JH? Well, since this is an overall square, JH is going to be equal to, well, the side of the square, which just also happens to be equal to DE, because all sides are equal for the square. So that means that AJ will be equal to AH subtracting off DE then. So filling in this ratio right here, so taking this, let's dump it in, let's put it right here. So we would have AH, which is 7.5 inches, over BC, which is 15 inches, is equal to 7.5 inches for AH, subtracting off DE, divided by DE. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math here. 
So cross multiplying, we end up with 7.5 DE is equal to 15 times 7.5 minus off DE. Then we end up with 7.5 DE, just simplifying this down, is equal to 112.5, subtracting off 15 DE. So then we end up with 22.5 DE is equal to 112.5. And then finally, we can solve for DE just by taking 112.5 divided by 22.5, and that gives us exactly five inches for our side of our square. So that means that the height of our square D or the length of our square DE is five inches, thus the height is also five inches. So now we can get our overall area for this square pretty easily. So how would we do the outer portions in yellow? Well, we can get the area of our overall circle, divide it by two because this is a semicircle up here. And then we can subtract out um, the area of the overall white triangle, and then we'll have to add back in our area of our yellow square to get everything in yellow. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So the area of our square, very simplistic area, and hopefully you can do this in your head. So the area of the square would just be five times five, which gives us the 25 inches squared. The area of our triangle is also very simplistic since we were given the diameter and we're told that the height is the radius, or we can deduce that the height is the radius based upon the information. So this would be one half times 15 inches for our base, which is our diameter, times our height, which is our radius of 7.5 inches, gives us a total area of 56.25 inches squared for the white triangle. And then the area of half of our overall circle, which would just be the semicircle at the top, would just be pi r squared over two. Well, this would just be pi times 7.5 inches squared over two, which gives us 22.5 pi over eight, or not 22.5, sorry, 225 pi over eight inches squared. So our overall area in yellow would just be that semicircle subtracting off the triangle and then adding back in the square. So area in yellow would just be the 225 pi over eight, subtracting off the area of our white triangle, 56.25 inches squared, and then adding back in the area of our square, which is 25 inches. And this gives us 57, 0.107 inches squared, of course, rounding that off. And that's how you would work that particular problem. <clears throat> now, with these types of problems, there's this is not necessarily the only procedure that you could use to find this area. And this procedure that is shown here is not necessarily the quickest, the fastest, the best, or the slowest, or anything like that. It is just one possible procedure that you could use to find the area in yellow, which is 57.107 inches inches squared. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a new, new math skill along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel as this is the 30th part in our series. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all that does assist us over here. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.